clear. Temperature 32, 2.14, temperature 3016. Okay, so one of the first things we want to do with the CAP 140 is put in a current altimeter setting. Zero one six is what the ADIS told us. So when it starts up, it will flash at you and ask for you to put in the altimeter setting. Should contact you have Lima. Right, information Lima. Just also, it says five thousand five hundred. That's just the previous uh, pre-selected altitude that somebody else had when they flew this plane. Um, so what I'm going to do is give it uh, 3,000 feet. That's what they always give us, at or below 3,000. So that's our altitude pre-select. Um, once we uh, take off, we will turn the autopilot on and put it in heading mode. And then we'll toggle between the altitude mode and the vertical speed mode. It'll default to uh, vertical speed and capture whatever vertical speed that is that we're uh, climbing at. And uh, it'll climb that uh, at that vertical speed up to our pre-selected altitude, which in this case is thousand feet. We can test the autopilot now. We can turn it on. Uh, I'm going to uh, sync my heading by uh, pushing the button, and the heading bug is synced to my current heading, 078. And I'm going to turn on the autopilot. Turns on into roll mode, so I'm going to go to head mode, and I'm going to go ahead and select a heading to the right, see if the stick follows that. So there it goes. All right, back to the left. And right now I'm in vertical speed mode, so I will add, uh, let's just go two, three hundred feet up, and the stick comes back, tries to uh, capture that, and we're just going to disconnect it. So the autopilot test looks good. Autopilot. That's our diamond, 658 Delta Sierra, ready for takeoff, only 22. Remember 658 Delta Sierra, Lex Tower Fly, runway heading, runway 22, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, runway 22, clear for takeoff, diamond 658 Delta Sierra. Autopilot on, heading mode, it's defaulted to 600 feet per minute. Altitude is armed. We want to push that arm button to arm the altitude. Remember, you dealt your traffic's off your right wing at this time, uh, about a mile and a half on final for runway niner. All right, still looking for eight altitude. Altitude. Yeah, traffic inside, great, eight altitude. November 8, Delta Sierra, roger, uh, thank you, turn right, heading 360, contact departure. Right, 360, contact departure, 8, Delta Sierra. Okay, so I'm just putting my heading bug over to the selected, uh, assigned heading, 360, and I'm going to go and switch over to departure. Great, right, we have leveled off, you see the arm has extinguished, and the altitude has gone to the top, so that means the altitude has been captured. 3,000, 3,000 and it will fine-tune it just a little bit. Uh, departure Diamond 658 Delta Sierra, level 3000, heading 360. Diamond 8 Delta Sierra, Lexington Departure Radar Contact, turn right, heading 015. 015 for Diamond 8 Delta Sierra. Diamond 8 Delta Sierra, roger, turn right, direct to EPSOC. Direct to EPSOC, 8 Delta Sierra. All right, so at this point, he's giving us direct to our first waypoint on the approach. What I'm going to do is recenter. Already put the approach in. I'm going to activate the approach now. And we have a highway in the sky, and we're going to go ahead and push nav. What nav is going to do is take us directly to EPSOC. And put this over here on the map so we can see. There's EPSOC right up there. So again, it's hard to see with the sun, but we are in nav mode. Autopilot is on, altitude hold at 3,000 uh, 3, feet. So we're holding that there. Anytime you put in a, uh, a new alt or you get a new altimeter setting from uh, a traffic control, you want to put it in in three places in this airplane. Uh, first, of course, is your main altimeter, which is the barrow knob here. 
Uh, next would be here on the autopilot. Those are two need to match. So we push the barrow button there and 3013 that matches that. And then you have a backup uh, altimeter here, so I'm going to put that in there as well. One, two, three, I like to keep those all, uh, all the same value. All I'm doing is monitoring to make sure the autopilot's flying the airplane uh, where I want it to go. It's going through the boxes. It's uh, it's staying at my pre-selected altitude of 3,000, and I have great situational awareness with the uh, MFD on the G1000. It shows exactly my course, and I'm on that course, and uh, looks great. You can see it's a little bumpy today, but uh, really the autopilot's doing a pretty good job of uh, keeping us right on course. Another thing I like to do, we turned uh, direct to EPSOC, our first, uh, our initial approach fix on the approach, and um, that left our heading bug over here by itself. Those two don't, those two don't sync automatically, um, so I like to just sync those after I make a turn. Uh, if, if I'm not using the heading mode, uh, if I'm in nav mode and I put in another course and it turns me to the right or left, uh, once I get leveled off and uh, the wings are level on that new heading I'm established there, I like to just push this heading button and that sinks my heading bug on the uh, cur current heading. Turn right, heading two five zero. Join. All right, so we just had an issue where we had traffic coming from our uh, about our one o'clock, about the same altitude. So ATC asked us to uh, climb 500 feet uh, so that we would miss that traffic. Did work well, and uh, I'm glad I did. But uh, I just wanted to point out that I'm descending now. What I did was put in. Here, five miles from Epstock, maintain three thousand still south on the final approach course. Cleared our nav Yankee runway two one approach to Georgetown Airport. Maintain 3000, uh, clear for the approach at uh, Georgetown 8 Delta 0. Okay, so what I'm doing now is get back down to my 3000. And I put that in here. Push vertical speed to select my rate. And, uh, and it's going to level off here at about 250 feet. Alright, so now we're going to turn on the, uh, since it's in nav mode, it's going to turn right. Uh, over this waypoint and go uh, direct to uh, Obuge. And here we go. Okay, and 4.4 miles to go. It may be hard to see, but there's my uh, highway, in the, highway in the sky with my, at my altitude. The plane's coming back over to re-intercept that. You see that on the needle here. 1 0 10,000, heading to join the airway. Check, uh, check hard for. All right, now the plane's turned just a little bit left. All right, we are in approach mode now. And we're going to go down to 2,500. I'm on my way to a taxi. Got to cross a taxi 2,500. Georgetown traffic diamond 658 Delta Sierra is just about over at Toxie on the RNAV 21 Yankee approach. Be a full stop, Georgetown.